after the fiasco of the last few weeks with tons of Etsy listings and shops being taken down, collecting customer emails is more important than ever. If you were with me over these last two weeks, you probably watched my video where I did recommend collecting people's emails and saying that I was using Aweber. But just this week, a brand new tool came out for this. So in today's video, let's go over this brand new tool, why I'm using it now over Aweber, to why it's extremely important now more than ever that we collect email addresses, and three, how to set up this tool. So let's go over why collecting these emails is important and how to do it legally because there are laws we have to to follow in terms of privacy laws and Etsy terms of service. Just a couple weeks ago, we had a huge fiasco with tons of listings being taken down and a few even big shops being taken down, sparking mass panic that people who are established sellers on Etsy could still lose their Etsy shop. So while your shop is open, you can reach out to your customers and add them to your email list. And this email list will allow you to reach out to people, say, should something happen to your Etsy store. You can then send them an email, letting them know that perhaps you moved locations, you started your own store, or you started a new shop. These people have now subscribed to hearing from you and they want to hear from your brand. So now you've moved over these people from being Etsy's customer to your own customers. Collecting this list will also allow you to send updates and sales announcements to people who love your store and your brand. So if you have a list and you're running, say, a big Black Friday sale, you can send out a sales email letting people know and sparking sales from customers who have already said that they want to hear from you, which means they're probably most likely going to buy from you again. And by collecting emails, depending on what service provider you use, and the one I'm going to show you today does allow this, but you're able to set up some automated emails to keep your customers engaged without you having to do any extra work. But something you have to keep in mind is you are not allowed to just go grab your customers' emails who purchase from you. These people need to opt in to your email newsletters and say that they want to hear from you for you to legally add them to your email list. So now introducing Everbee Email. Everbee email is a brand new tool introduced to the app Everbee. And the thing is, so many people already have Everbee. And this is the reason I was so excited about Everbee email. While Aweber was able to do a lot of the things that Everbee email is doing, Everbee email comes at no extra cost to you if you have Everbee versus Aweber was, I believe, $29.99 a month, which seriously adds up. And yes, Everbee growth plan is also $29.99 a month. But again, most people already had Everbee. If you have listened to me, I talk about them a lot because they're one of the two tools that I use on a daily basis for my Etsy store. So for me, since I was already paying for this, Everbee email felt like a free new addition. You can access Everbee email by either going to everbee.io and logging into your account, or if you have the extension and it shows up right within your Etsy, which most people do have, just open the tab and open up Everbee email. And while I've set this up for my other shop, I have not set it up for my print on demand mock-up shop yet. So let's do that together today. So once you activate Everbee email, you're going to see under campaigns that we have two types. We have order campaigns and subscriber campaigns, and they are different. So with Etsy terms of service, you are allowed to email your customers, but solely about their Etsy purchase from you. You are not allowed to send them to another site. You are not allowed to send them unwarranted emails. It can only be about their purchase. So it can be their order confirmation, the shipment confirmation, the delivery confirmation, or even the one that excites me the most is the review request. So let's go take a look in each of these. So order confirmation, when someone orders from you, they're gonna get an email that looks like this. Hi blank, we're thrilled to confirm your recent order with us. And then also what you're gonna see is this button here. And this is in every single order campaign that Everbee has. And it says subscribe for exclusive offers below. And this button is how you bring someone over to your subscriber list where you're then allowed to have them and message them about things that are outside of their Etsy order. And then scrolling down even a little bit further, there's just more information. Please go in and customize this to your store. And then it also gives you some upsell opportunity because it also gives them some of your listings and says, you may also like, which might bring in some extra purchases from this customer. So I highly recommend going into these and then you can toggle them on 
once you have edited the template, again, just be a little bit more charismatic, bring in your own brand voice to these so people feel engaged and people actually want to subscribe to your emails. And then you can turn on these as well. So this does sync with your orders. So if you have a shipment confirmation, they're gonna get another one of these emails. They're gonna get a delivery confirmation, which can also be extremely helpful because I believe Etsy does not send these out. So a delivery confirmation can be a great one to turn on. And the one that excites me the most is this review request. Because what I do right now is I wait for a week after each order has been delivered and then I manually send people a message asking for a review. But now I do not need to do that anymore. Now we have this review request. Once people are eligible for a review or to leave a review, they're gonna get an automated email, so no manual work anymore, asking them to leave a review. So this is just gonna save you tons of time, get you so much more reviews, and still it's gonna give people the opportunity to sign up with you. And then we have these subscriber campaigns. So these campaigns shoot off as soon as someone hits that subscribe button from the above emails here. So if someone hit subscribe, they say they want to hear from you. Now they are brought over and they are technically a subscriber. So they're going to start getting these subscriber emails. And the subscriber emails are just thank yous. They're little reminders. They're just a little note to your customer to remind them that you exist. And at the bottom of each, has either some of your top sellers or maybe some products they might like. Again, maybe bringing in another sale from this customer. Once you click into any of these emails, you can edit by clicking the bottom button that says edit and you can change the email settings. You can add in an automation. So it can say send in blank days after blank so that there's automation so that you don't need to manually go in and send these to everybody because that's going to be a huge time waster. And then you can even have your subject. So it actually inputs their name. So, Hey, name, welcome to our shop name. And from here we can go in and edit our email again. So for mine, what I've turned on, I've turned on the order confirmation, the delivery confirmation and the review request for me right now. I am just collecting subscribers in case again, something ever happens to my shop. Or if I do run maybe a new collection, a new campaign, I can send that off to my subscribers, but I'm just keeping them on the back burner for now. I might just turn on the first welcome email, just a thank you for subscribing. And maybe I would also put in a discount code for them so that it is a reward for them subscribing to our newsletter. So again, if you have Everbee, this is a free tool to use. Well, it's not free if you didn't have Everbee before, but I was already paying for them and many people already are. So there is no reason not to turn these on. It's gonna make your life simpler. And now you have a list of your own customers who want to hear from you should anything happen to your store. Let me know if this is something that you're gonna be implementing in your store because I am extremely excited for it and I hope you guys are too.